Okay. On light. You know, I had a few people that wanted to argue with me, and it's an absolute fact. Like, contrary to things we think of and phenomena, like a larger box holds more stuff, right? Has a higher capacitance for holding stuff, right? Than a smaller box. You can't stick as much crap in a smaller box. When it comes to electricity and field theory, the power is just inverse. I had some people want to argue me that fact, as if I don't know more about light than they do, and I sure as hell do. There's a neat old coot. Now, he never talked about size versus capacitance. He's dead now. His followers are absolutely crazy. Walter Russell. He wrote a book called The Secret of Light. No, it's not New Age, touchy-feely crap. He was not a New Ager. However, a lot of people that, like, offshoot from him after he dead, died, um, you know, are kind of the, you know, touchy feel. I can't stand the New Age movement. Have nothing to do with New Age crap. I hate New Age or crap. The original term of metaphysics, since I'm a hardcore Platonist and translate ancient Greek, the original term of metaphysics ain't the current term of metaphysics. You go to the bookstore and you look in the metaphysics section, that's where all that BS, New Age, touchy-feely, rub a crystal and stick a amethyst stone up your butthole sort of stuff. Exam that. Not an, I have when I talk about metaphysics. See, the connotation of metaphysics is not the original denotation. Denotation means the original article and the original meaning. Anyway, a lot of people want to argue with me about uh, the smaller the space, the higher the capacitance, because that's the way it works. Now, a lot of people are confused. They like think that light is one thing, and like gamma radiation and radio waves and you know ultraviolet and X-ray. No, that is all light. It, it's you know, just because humans are only able to see about one percent of the uh, electromagnetic spectrum. Light, by the way, or gamma or X-ray, is not merely electromagnetic. Tesla said this. So did Oliver Heaviside. I'm the one that fully explained it in my book, and I'll have a much fuller explanation in the fourth edition. Um, to think that light is merely transverse electrical magnetic uh, wave fronts. And I always tell people, people talk about waves, and I say, waves of what, moron? And then they say, waves again. I say, waves of what, you moron? You know, I'm using the word moron. I'm so sorry if that insults somebody. When somebody thinks they know, so all they're doing is parroting the crap that they learned in high school or college. They say, well, it's electromagnetic. Waves of what, you moron? Light is a coaxial circuit. All those things that are transverse, they're transverse to something. That's like saying, you know, there's this person that keeps going up and down, and I'm like, where's the trampoline? According to modern science, we have like a, you know, a, a weird world... Uh, double-sided tra trampoline where like uh, the magnetism is going up and down this way and the electricity is going up and down this way and I'm saying to modern physics which hasn't got a damn clue what the hell light is it's like where's the damn trampoline I mean what the hell you know where the hell are these these uh, these beings emanating from IE transverse electrical magnetic you know they have no clue this is the whole notion mother nature by the way does not deal in dualities or paradoxes an ocean that wet that light is a wave particle duality the one thing I can assure you of most definitely in this universe is that mother nature does not has never 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 will deal and dualities. The, the only duality exists within the stupid mind of dumb humans. There is no such thing as a duality in nature. It is the most absurd bullshit, uh, totally imaginable. Within a hundred years, or hopefully less, if humanity doesn't destroy itself, we'll actually discover what the hell light is. I've written about what light is. Now, we think of light as merely what we're able, able to see from the uh, purple end or the blue end of the spectrum to uh, the red end of the spectrum. We're able to see late, basically less than 1% of the electromagnetic spectrum. But all of that stuff is the same thing. We're talking about frequency and wavelength. Even Tesla said the secrets to understanding the universe uh, has to do with understanding uh, amplitude, uh, wavelength, and frequency. Tesla was right. Have resonance frequency, wavelength. Do you think that gamma rays are any different than the light rays? The shorter the wavelength, the higher the capacitance. Let's take an example right here. Let's say this is infrared. Let's say this visible light right up here at the top. Now we have a larger volume, transverse electrical magnetic, transverse EM, 
on this particular frequency. Let's say, I don't know, let's say this is 144 megahertz. That's actually shortwave. That's not visible light. And down here, let's say this is uh, gamma radiation. Hmm, what's the difference between gamma radiation and visible light, for example? What's the difference between gamma radiation, like those radioactive lenses that emit gamma radiation, which will basically pass through a foot of lead? What's the difference between visible light and gamma radiation? Nothing. It is all the exact same stuff. But you'll notice down here, do you see how the volume of, say, gamma radiation comparatively to visible light, you see this enormous volume up here? Right, this is low capacitance. In other words, when I open my eyes and I actually look at visible light, it doesn't hurt me. But the same thing, if this were a gamma ray emitter, it would immediately destroy the back of my corneas and give me a brain tumor like within one second and kill me within about three or four hours. Do you understand that? It's all the same stuff. Light, gamma radiation, x-rays, shortwave, it is all a coaxial circuit coax. Do you know what a coax cable looks like? Now, do you see how huge the volume is here? Okay, it doesn't matter whether it's uh, um, uh, linear uh, polarization or circular polarization. Do you see the volume right here between each pulse perturbation? This is the notion of the wave-particle duality that stupid humans think that uh, explains light. Das Lichtwand. Now, the idiot Albert Einstein, and he is an idiot, because Nikola Tesla said he's an idiot. And you know the person I trust more than Einstein? It's the guy that actually invented shit. All of this stuff is running off of the inventions and ideas of Nikola Tesla, uh, Faraday, James Clerk Maxwell, Charles Proteus Steinmetz, Oliver Heaviside. It ain't running off of the, the brain farts of uh, Albert Einstein. Yeah, the computer, everything that's running off of electricity, AC, DC, doesn't matter. That's all. Tesla, Faraday, Steinmetz, Heaviside, Maxwell. It's not Einstein. Now, this is what the brain-dead dumbass Einstein said was a wave-particle duality. Now, you'll see the volume. Let's say visible light or infrared. Let's compare that down here to like an X-ray or gamma. And you see that the volume is about five times as much as it is down here. Everything I said about electricity being opposite to phenomena, like a larger box holds more stuff, and therefore a large box has high capacitance, well, it's exactly the opposite of that when it comes to wave phenomena, i.e. electricity, magnetism, dielectricity. You see that little small volume right there? The small, smaller the space, the higher the capacitance. Well, that doesn't make any sense to the human conception. Like a larger room holds more stuff. How could a smaller room hold more stuff? Because we're dealing with counter space here. We're dealing with trans-Euclidean geometry. One thing that the genius Eric Dollard said, and Tesla actually mentioned counter space too, he called it interspace. Tesla, yeah, I've actually got a digital search engine. Tesla called it interspace capacitance. Those are Nikola Tesla's exact words, interspace capacitance. Or as Eric Dollard called it, counter space. He said specifically, if you don't understand counter space, you'll never understand electrical theory. And do you see how small the space is here? how incredibly high the capacitance is. You know how much more lethal gamma radiation is than visible light? Visible light, I could stare at all day. Gamma radiation, all I need is a few seconds and I'm going to die in a couple hours of exposure. A couple hours after exposure, excuse me. There is no such thing as a wave-particle duality. Light. Gamma is light too. All EM is light. Visible light is just visible EM. Do you still think that light is particles? Do you still think that light is uh, like a pack of particles that's traveling through all these glass elements and hitting your sensor? The only thing a camera sensor is is uh, a very, very expensive, very fine uh, uh, power converter that would sit on top of someone's house, a solar cell. A camera sensor is a solar cell with RGB discriminators over it. Bear sensor or X trans, I don't give a damn which which array it is. Yes, a camera sensor is no different than a solar cell sitting on the top of your house, except it is a lot more detailed, a lot finer. 
its acuity and uh, its uh, design for RGB, red, green, blue discrimination, is acute. Acute. The one up on top of your house is just about creating power. You know, they're, they're pretty crude. Well, in general, they're pretty crudely made. I mean, it's all about power and efficiency. It has nothing to do about, like, oh, my God, someone's... And I found one on my camera. It's like, oh, my God, I got one dead pixel on my camera. So what? <laughs> um, the entire model that human beings are being taught in high school and college has absolutely no basis in reality. There is no wave-particle duality. Light, there is no such thing as a photon particle. A photon has never been the input or output of any experiment ever done, ever. The notion that light is both particle and wave is nothing other than the conceptual brain fart and uh, intellectual uh, fecal matter of atomistic thinking spawned a la Einstein and his demented brain-dead cohorts. It's called atomism. Atomism is as ancient as the ancient Greeks and probably goes back prior to them. It is one word only, atomism. Atomism in its very principle and a very, very in a nutshell philosophy is that Mother Nature is a crazy broad with a giant bag of magic particles in all interactions in the universe from the super micro to the super macro are particles bumping and amazing bullshit. They actually think fields, of course fields are not particles. They've never defined what a field is. They actually think that like a magnetic field, you know, what is actually a streaming from one side to the other and transversely, they actually call those virtual uh, photons. Virtual. There is absolutely no quantifiable difference between me saying virtual photons and a brain-dead lunatic on crack saying uh, tiny leprechaun, leprechauns or, uh, you know, uh, microscopic unicorns are, are is what's creating the magnetic field between either pole of a magnet. Virtual photons, that's the best humanity has got. We think we're so technologically advanced, so intellectually superior. Why, sure we are. Look at our fancy computers and our digital cameras. We must understand how Mother Nature works. No, if you think that, you're a dumbass. Science also thinks that. Every branch of science throughout history has always thought they've had a firm grip on the how the hell reality works and cosmic mechanics. And 10, 20, 30 years later, some it depends, it varies. 10, 20, 30 years later, they always go, oh my God, you believe they used to believe that bullshit? I mean, what nonsense. It's like, I can know. I know science used to teach this crazy crap. This will be no different. There's no such thing as a wave-particle duality. There's no such thing as a, as a damn photon. <laughs> the very notion that light, transverse electrical magnetic phenomena, and it is not merely, it is a coaxial circuit. It's transverse electrical magnetic to a longitudinal dielectric pulse perturbation. You see that pulse perturbation? This would be like gamma radiation here, and this would be like visible light up here. It is a coaxial circuit. The notion that there are waves, but there's nothing that's spawning the waves. It's like light is just electrical magnetic waves. And then I go, waves of what, you dumbass? No, 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 no. Light is electrical magnetic, you know? It's like going like this. And then I go, waves of what, you moron? And then they, come, then they go, they say, well, you know, light is, uh, is a photon part. It's a stream of photons, you know. That's where the particle, no. That's not a photon. That is a pulse perturbation. That is a dielectric rarefaction or compression pulse perturbation when it's compressed we have a null point of the electrical magnetic okay when we have a rarefaction we have the presence of transverse electrical magnetic this is no different than how a magnet works except it is propagating curve linearly in a longitudinal fashion outwards. I can't say through space because space is not a thing. Space is literally the privation. It is actually the afterwake of a uh, of a release of inertia. Space has no properties. As Nikola Tesla so intelligently himself stated, space has no properties. So if you think light is particles or if you think that uh, that uh, light and like x-rays and gamma radiation, you know, it's all the same crap. Okay, Everything is frequency. Wavelength and harmonics. Look at that. 
And the smaller the space, the higher the capacitance. That's irrefutable. You see this little small space right here? And you see this huge space here? This is infinitely more powerful and more destructive and more dangerous than this is. This is a huge space. This is a super, super tiny space. This one will kill you. This one you can stare at all day long. Did I make myself clear to all those fools who said I was wrong about the smaller the space, the higher the capacitance? Yes, you were wrong. I was right. Next time someone wants to argue with me about the nature of life, bring it on girlfriend we'll have a debate I'll even record it on a live stream and then I'll post it for everybody to see I love debating field theory anybody wants to have a debate with me on field theory I'll destroy you <laughs> bye <laughs>